it shows clearly what it's really about, which is they don't like things uh, that people are saying on TikTok. They don't like young people getting further radicalized. Uh, they don't have control over what's happening on there, so they need to get rid of it. That's all. Yeah, and, and now we're also going to ban Tic Tac. Okay, great. Janae Norman is here with what this could mean for content creators and the more than 170 million users. Good morning, Janae. Good morning, Robin. So 170 many. million users and countless of those who rely on TikTok for their livelihood. Now can... Do you think a TikTok ban would just further galvanize the youth? Hopefully. Uh... I think we'll forget about it. It's going to take a long time. Yeah. It's, it's going to, not only does it have to get signed into law, but then I haven't read this new version of it, but apparently originally it was six months. Apparently this one is a year is what I've heard. So it's going to take that year. And then, you know, all of these organizations like the ACLU and other orgs are going to be suing. So it's going to take a while before shit gets cooking with it. Trump blames Biden for a potential TikTok ban and calls it election interference. Just so everyone knows, especially the young people. Crooked Joe Biden is responsible for banning TikTok. He is the one pushing it to a close and doing it to help his friends over at Facebook become richer and frankly more dominant and able to continue to fight, perhaps illegally, the Republican Party. It's called election interference. Young people and many others, lots of others, must remember this on November 5th, Election Day. That's November 5th when they vote. They must also remember, more importantly, that he is destroying our country and... A major threat to democracy. That's pretty good. Dude, you are... That is impressive. Thank you. You're very good at that. It's kind of suspicious how good at that you are. I've been practicing. Yeah. I've been hanging out with Trump a lot, huh? Yeah. In 2020, Trump signed an executive order to ban TikTok from app stores warning the United States... What did he say? Here, read this. Which? He said... <laughs> the United States must make aggressive action against the owners of TikTok, the Chinese, to protect our national China. security. China. To protect our national security. <laughs> it's interesting. I mean, do I think that he would ban TikTok in a heartbeat? 100%. Yeah. Do I think that he's just using the momentum Why that not? Biden will, like the, the genuine resentment that Biden will, will cultivate from the youth, especially? Absolutely. Can you have Lola read this in Trump's voice, please? I beg nothing I want more in life than this. <laughs> so good. He's, he's the goat. I don't know if I could do this justice. Happy. Oh, f See, now it's hard when I have to... You put it on the spot, I dude. know. Happy Cinco de Mayo. The best taco bowls are made in Trump Tower. Grill. <laughs> Sorry. I love Hispanics. I love Hispanics. I love Hispanics. We love our Hispanics, though, especially the ones who come here legally. They, Everything about this... They uh, wait in line. They wait in line for a long time. And they wait in line for the taco bowls. They come. They make me a beautiful taco. A taco bowl. <laughs> In Trump Tower. I like it because I can break it and then I can use it to scoop up the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about this is perfect from the in newspapers that is in front of him. That's underneath the, the perfectly placed toggle bowl down to the Sudafed in his drawer that you can see right there. <laughs> king. And how like nasty his office is too. He's such a hoarder concerned that their financial security could be at risk, but for lawmakers, the concerns they say are about data security and personal information about all those millions of users. Today I'm saying my final goodbye to TikTok. This morning, the <laughs> clock could be ticking for a popular app. That's how TikTok. content creators on TikTok Breaking are. Breaking news right now, the House of Representatives has officially passed another TikTok ban. Over the weekend, the House of Representatives passing legislation that could see the app banned in the U.S. if no! Chinese owner ByteDance doesn't sell within a year. The two options are sell to a U.S. owner or cease operating in the U.S. An unprecedented move that sparked serious concerns for some content creators. I'm happier than I have ever been. And it is because this app has opened the door for me to figure out how I can make a difference in the world. There It'd be really funny if they posted a TikTok of yours <laughs> in one of the news segments of you crying because TikTok's getting banned. What are you doing? Should I make a TikTok right now? Wow. You you use the one? momentum, dude. You want to be at it? Sure. What should we say? I don't know. What do, what do you mean? Is that how you make TikToks? I don't know. I'm not a good TikToker. You don't think about it ahead of time? You're just like blast it? Oh, that's all I do. Yeah. You can't tell from my content that I, I just don't No, oh, I, I, just I don't really watch your content. Sorry. I'm glad you don't watch my content. Yeah. I, if I did, it'd be, I probably wouldn't invite you. How do you feel you. about uh, them banning TikTok, Hassan? I like it. You're going to be double unemployed, as a matter of fact. It's going to be really funny that you're... Not only are you unemployed from your public defender job, but now you're gonna lose your TikTok job. 
You're honestly, I like don't, I don't like you anymore. I'm turning this off. Is that is that good? Is that is that a fire TikTok, bro? Did you did you post it? Are you posting the fire TikTok? I hate you. I'm posting that. I'm posting it. There are over 170 million users on TikTok in the U.S. Many, like content creator Jennifer Gay, have found financial security from the platform. Suddenly my voice mattered and I had a purpose and I started living boldly. 100% of my livelihood is connected to TikTok. The TikTok ban is a response to top intelligence and lawmakers' concerns. That I want, like, genuinely, there are millions of businesses, small businesses yeah. that utilize TikTok that have helped, you know, it's either grown their business to where it's actually sustainable for them to use or, you know, fundamentally change people's lives in terms of Yeah, it's not, businesses. it's not necessarily like how much money you make on ad revenue because that's like, that's notoriously dog shit. Yeah, it's really bad. It is, however, a really successful way of like launching your business, launching your small business, which I try to communicate to people all the time. Like in the United States of America, there aren't exactly a lot of like valid avenues for upward social mobility. Like you're not getting that. You're not getting financial security from a regular job, a regular nine to five job any longer, uh, unless you get into a field where you're finance related. Unionize. Finance. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's that, but for the most part, like the old school, like I go to a job, I get a pension at the end of the, at the end of my tenure, at the end of my career, all that stuff is gone. And it is really funny to think about, uh, the American government, like shutting off one of the valves in an effort to try to force bite dance, uh, to divest from their incredibly successful product they've, they've that also, is like it's like global is globally incredibly successful america only makes up 10 percent of the active user base right there's not a single instance that they can show where anything that they're concerned about happening has happened you know in terms of the mismanagement of data sharing it with people who aren't supposed to have it etc and so forth no they they tie that up with xenophobia that's it they're just like scary boogeyman chinese they're spying and they they add the the, the secret ingredient to, into that puzzle piece which is that well they're chinese so that's it the secret ingredient is yeah is resentment towards uh like china the and and the chinese that's your secret ingredient that's my yeah that's i'm not the number one dick writer of china i'm actually uh, the number one hater of china hell yeah brother if i'm being monitored around the clock on my social media application it better be for my own goddamn federal government you know what i'm saying when i first started on tiktok there was uh this chinese company that signed me for a year and uh really yes to i didn't promote industrial no, 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 grade no. they didn't grade glycine yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is that place called uh, Donghua Jinglong or something? Donghua Jinglong, yeah. Yeah. If you want the best industrial grade glycine, yeah, uh, that's where you should go. Oh, but I I was with them for a year. They didn't bring me anything. Uh, I was like introduced to them through a friend because they were supposed to like help through me a friend at the, the CCP. Is it the <laughs> and um, they ended up not doing anything for me. But inside my contract, there was like a non disparagement <laughs> provision about the chinese government oh really yeah like that was like inside the contract easiest thing to abide by for one year and i was just like okay i can't post anything against china for one year otherwise they'll sue me for a hundred thousand dollars easiest thing to abide by <laughs> easiest thing to abide by i would i already do that that was for in, free oh that was in 2022 <laughs> 2020 so that was during covid so i was paid off by the chinese government that's crazy can't believe you admitted that <laughs> no i wasn't paid at all i made zero dollars yeah. That user data could become compromised. A TikTok spokesperson calling the move unfortunate. Besides the railway, could you flesh out cleanly why China is good? To someone who's never been told or, uh, or overheard anything good on China, yeah, I can. They have implemented a tremendous amount of demonstrable development projects and have improved the material conditions of nearly 1 billion people on this planet over the course of two decades all as a direct consequence of central planning and a direct consequence of having a government that albeit authoritarian in many different respects especially as it pertains to civil liberties has been able to genuinely improve people's lives it's like china has actually done exactly what i would want america to do that's why as it pertains to our you know our development projects Minus all the dictatorship shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. America's a f 
dictatorship too is just like obviously not for us we're very fortunate it just depends on what group what what subgroup you belong to in the united states of america like we always we always talk about it but it's like we always talk about how like oh china is an authoritarian nightmare authoritarian nightmare which there is certainly truth to it i mean xinjiang is a glaring example of of that kind of like state violence being brought about an entire subsect of the population where there is definitely collective punishment but always remember think about what we do to undocumented migrants for example those are human beings right think about what we do to them and then tell me how this is not an authoritarian shithole think about what we do to poor people in this country and then tell me how that is not a, an authoritarian nightmare for them there are six hundred thousand plus of those people yeah living on the street and those are the numbers that they the reported numbers you know the you know it's way yeah it's higher than ridiculous you know it's just ridiculous oh <sighs> anyway it, telling ABC News the bill would trample the free speech rights of 170 million Americans, devastate 7 million businesses, and shutter a platform that contributes $24 billion to the U.S. You glaze up China too much? Okay, bro. Like, I did, did listen. We gotta have at least one of my prominent Indian chatters chirp when I f talk about how, how good Chinese development is. At least one. You glaze up China too much. The 800 million people out of poverty is the IMF myth of people above $1.90. No, I know the nutrition metrics, the poverty in China has increased. Wait, what? The nutri by nutrition metrics, the poverty in China has increased post-liberalization? No, as far as even development goes, with the limited amount of, uh, with the limited amount of capital that they're working with, it's still a lot of capital. It's great. It's not my fault that the IMF is, uh, has, has had dog shit metrics for, for the poverty line, for extreme poverty. That's not what I'm talking about, though. What I'm talking about is was actually the development that is noticeable that Chinese people also openly mention and acknowledge. You have to compare countries to what they used to look like and not like, wow, I can't believe China is still not, I guess, as developed as like a, like a European city across the board, even though I think they're reaching that metric at, at this point economy annually. I don't think it's going to pass First Amendment scrutiny because I think there are less restrictive alternatives. We could have uh, made it a, a crime to transfer Americans' data to an adversarial foreign nation or foreign state interference. Bill has now passed the House and it is on the fast track to becoming... <laughs> it's oh. so funny to see Wait. it on. The Senate is expected to take up the legislation tomorrow and if passed, President Biden has already indicated he will quickly sign it into law. But... Not so fast. Experts say don't expect the app to go away anytime soon. It's not like the app is going to delete off your phone right away. It could be months. It could be years of, of waiting through regulatory and legal hurdles to actually get this done. Right. And so for now, TikTok is not for sale. But if and when that bill passes, it would likely kick off a lengthy legal battle. So Robin, Michael and George's dance videos on TikTok good shape for now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Janae. We'll be looking for your dances also. Good God. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> I love it. You love the TikTok, man? Have you got them? No, I mean, obviously, like, personally, stupid as hell. Was that uh, Ro Khanna, right? He was saying, well, I think what he was saying makes sense, which is, like, they didn't even try to do something where pass a greater data privacy law. It's, it's you know, it shows clearly what it's really about, which is, they don't like things uh, that people are saying on TikTok. They don't like young people getting further radicalized. Uh, they don't have control over what's happening on there, so they need to get rid of it. That's all. And they want to hand it over to their jackals. Uh, they want to hand it over to a good guy, rich, like a white guy, jackals, an American guy. You know what I mean? With the, you know, who are sensitive to American interests and people like uh, the people at Meta who are deplatforming or deboosting political content, you know, in your settings, stuff like that.